What is up you guys? Welcome back to another Two Bros Performance YouTube video. Today, we are going to get the engine and transmission put in the car. We're going to drill out a couple more holes in the transmission cross member, get that bolted down, get the torque converter bolted to my flex plate, and uh, yeah, get a lot done. So, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get with it. Alrighty, it has been a few hours, it's been a pain, but we finally got the torque converter bolted up to the flex plate, hopefully the spacing's right, I did some research on it, just kind of guesstimated, but it has been a pain, so we finally got the right nuts and bolts, we got it bolted up, got the bell housing bolts tightened down, trans and engine are together, they're not getting separated until something goes catastrophically wrong, or I get a high stall torque converter, so... Now we're going to do what I've been wanting to do for a minute here. We're going to throw those bad boys in this bad boy. So let's get with it. Alrighty guys, we got her dropped in. I uh, need to go to my truck and grab the transmission cross member so I can throw it underneath, bolt it in, drill a couple of holes and get it where it needs to be. But we got the 6 ohm power glide in again and that wheel gap is about a million times better. Still not the best. I might get some lowering spindles later on and drop in another couple inches but the wheel gap is almost the same front to back and uh, that's what we wanted. She's sitting level. Alrighty guys, sorry for not taking much video, I was just cranking it out and getting stuff done. Um, here's what we got done. We got the engine and trans in, I uh, set my intake on top, I was hoping to face the intake around backwards, but this throttle body, or sorry, this throttle cable nub actually hits that bracket right there, and that bracket is for my windshield wipers, which I want because I want it to still be streetable. So. I need to figure out if I can relocate that bracket a little bit, um, figure it out. If not, I might just have to run the intake facing forward and uh, have to just kind of go hoodless, I guess. So here's my hood clearance. So you can see, I don't have a lot of hood clearance. I think right here will clear and everything the way the hood bubbles, but that throttle body definitely won't. So we'll see. Um, I just kind of mocked it up on there. I've got my G plus 102 millimeter uh, fast throttle body. Or I guess it's not fast brand, but large throttle body. Um, also, I went in and I spent a lot of time doing this on the car. I got my transmission cross member done, bolted in, everything's tight. I had to drill holes right there. I had to make a... Uh, that little hole on the frame, there's one right next to it. I had to make that a little bit wider for my new hardware to fit. Had to do the same thing on that side. But we got my transmission mounted. It is solid. It's done. It's going. Well, it's not solid mounted. It's got a rubber bushing. But it is done. It's how it's going to sit. Barely clears that firewall. But yeah, I'm excited. Whoops. We got a lot done today. Another thing which I will be uh, rolling it out and showing is it looks incredible right now let me see let me hop around to get a better shot of it i am extremely happy with how this uh, wheel gap came out it looks a little bit bigger on video than it actually is 
it looks perfect, man. We got the same wheel gap in the front and back. So those three-inch lowering springs were a lifesaver. I'm extremely excited. And um, everything I've read online says that when you drive it around for a while after they, it's got car weight on it for a while, that the lowering springs will actually settle a little bit more. So we might get a quarter to half an inch more drop, which would be really nice. I've got my shocks on the way from Amazon, so I'll be throwing those back in there. Right now it's just extremely bouncy don't have any shocks in it but i'm getting some ac delco replacements we'll be good to go for the front so yeah um i am also going to be throwing my water pump on the front and plumbing up my coolant lines here shortly let's come around back i've got my radiator set in and i think what i decided you can see i got my coolant lines right there too i think what i decided is i am going to obviously lean the radiator forward like that so we got room. I'm mounting my fan on this side. I'm going to vent the, the rear deck lid so that air can flow out of it. Build a little air dam on the bottom so I get plenty of airflow through this radiator. If it doesn't work, it won't be hard to weld up mounts for a bigger radiator. But for now, we're just going to give it a shot. Um, I think I'm going to mount my battery right there. Just going to build a little box on top of this. Clean it all off, weld the box in, and then build my top radiator mount to the battery box um, that's what I'm looking like I'm gonna do not sure yet that's just a idea that's getting thrown around because I don't have room for a uh, battery anywhere I could put it in front of the passenger feet and just move the passenger seat back a little bit and it would be weird to have a little box there I might end up doing that in here there's just no room I could put it right there which wouldn't be that bad of a spot, but I really just want to keep this engine bay nice and clean. It's not clean yet, but I'm going to do some sheet metal covers and clean it up and kind of shave it and tuck it. So if I can get away with uh, not having to put my battery right there, I'm going to put it in the back, but we'll see. So yeah, um, I hope you liked today's video. Um, I hope you like these videos. I hope you like the Two Rows Performance YouTube channel. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can see when we drop more content. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye!